Good morning. Hope you're doing well. I'm out in Lerdeberg again. I'm actually on the same spur that I was on, on the, in the last video. And I've gone past the, the part of the cliff where I scrambled down to the river. And I'm about, oh, I'm coming to the end of the spur, about to head down. Uh, hopefully, it's not too bad. Now this will be interesting. I don't even know if I can get down here. Doesn't look like I can. I might have to turn back and go uh, go back. That's what I was uh, what I was thinking might be the case actually. But you never know. So what I'll do is I'll uh, put this away for five minutes and put this away for five minutes and see what's going on. See what I can do about this situation. Boy oh boy, I'm nearly down. That's a hill you don't want to have to come down. Still at about 10 metres I guess to go. And it's pretty steep but I reckon I can uh, scramble down that. There's a river. Well, happy to say I made it from up there. It's not somewhere you want to walk for a quiet afternoon stroll. Really nice little canyon. River's flowing good. Might just walk up here a bit. There's a sand bank or a gravel bank around here. And perhaps they might have uh, done a little bit of mining. I'd be surprised if they didn't, but it's pretty rugged to get to. So, wouldn't surprise me if they um, weren't here. Frogs singing away. Not, nothing on this bank at all. Or maybe, maybe, what's that? Yeah, there's some step rock right there. So this is on the this is on the spur that I dropped into on this side the other week. It didn't come this way. By the time I was down, I was that tired. I'm not bad today. It's uh, sort of been pretty good. Now, there's nothing there, and that's cliff further on. So. I'm thinking that maybe oh, I better walk up and have a look. Yeah, you can't get through there. Yeah, it doesn't look like any workings here, apart from that wall, which possibly could have been part of the old flume system. The old flume foundation still running around here. Yeah, can't really see anything here. Maybe, maybe up there. Not a lot of evidence of anything. So I'm gonna, gonna wet my boots on now and 
head downstream. Hopefully I can get as far as I want to get. I want to get to Razorback Track down there, which is about one and a half K, so here we go. I'm on the point of the spur now. Cliffs across from me. Beautiful little spot. And it's straight up where I've come from. Yeah, I did crawl through some of those rocks up there. Yeah, marvellous. Anyway, I haven't found anything else yet. There's no signs on the over here of anything running through. I've got my boots on, so it doesn't matter where I step now. I think it's still going to be fairly hard work. These are more like canyons through here than riverbeds in some spots. So far, I haven't seen anything apart from what looked like a little stack rock ledge up further. Been a bit of a struggle to get to here. When I was planning this one, the only thing that was going to stop me were cliffs. And down there, down the end there, there's a cliff on that side. Then behind that, there's a log jam, massive log jam. Then on the other side of that, there's another cliff. But there's a whole heap of rock up the middle of the river that's gathered. So I ended up being able to, after three or four goes, I ended up being able to walk over that and get to this spot. So about, I think about 500 metres up on the left around this bend is Lerderderg track. I think, I haven't looked at the map for a while, but I think that's where it is. And I know there's a big mining set up there where they had workings. So I'm probably, I don't know, I'll probably go on the other side of the river now, get across up here a bit where it's a, where the rocks are a bit more forgiving. And uh, travel along there. Because these rocks are just falling down from the cliff above me. And they're sharp as anything. Whereas on the other side they've been tumbled by the water. And I'll probably go across just here. There's another cliff over there. I won't be getting past but hopefully... Hopefully here isn't too bad. Well, over I go. Check out all the quartz stringers in this boulder. It's come down from up there somewhere many, many, many years ago. Whole heap of quartz stuck to it. Very cool. might be something could be oh, it seems flat enough no grass here, but there's no sign of any rock or workings or anything anyway Now 
Now it's probably just a happy wombat time. I had to come back across the other side of the river and uh, look up and there's a bit of a ledge. Now they, those rocks right there look like they've been stacked. There's not much left, but oh, yeah, here we go. The flume wall, I reckon, running along here. It's probably going to uh, Lerderdurg track, I think. Must be. When I first did come down Loaded Dirt Track, I found the stack rock, but I wasn't sure what it was. I didn't really know what it was then, or what it w might have been, sorry. So now, oh geez. <clears throat> I'll walk along here. Yeah, there's a uh, there's some stack rock in there. This is at the end of Lerderdurg track. You can see the stack rock up there. I'll put a link to that video on Lerderdurg track. I think it's Lerderdurg track, and you can have a look at that rather than me. There's a couple of rosellas over there. Rather than me go up there and crap on about something I've already crapped on about. And there's some rock right there. That's definitely the end of a little dirt track where there's a mine workings. And that's definitely a flume foundation. So we're a long way from the, the first time I ever decided to look for it. I think I'll go up, it might be easier. That's a nice wall. A few rounded rock in there, like one right in front of me, two, uh, maybe three, but yeah, not much else. It's all stuff that's been dug out the side here. There's some more rock there, more stack rock. I can't really get to it, there's a bit of a log jam, and if I wanted to get to it, I'd have to go round and back so. Yeah, this is still down the bottom of Lerderdurg track here. There's a fair, fair area here. There's a big flat area. So, well worth coming down and have a look at that. If you're at all interested in it. If you're not, don't. It's a good walk anyway. Ooh, I can hear the goats. There's more of the wall there. And it's crushed by that tree. And then nothing. So I'm gonna cross here. Oh, a little bit of water gets got in over the top. 
What a lovely spot this is. I'm not sure what that is over there. Go over a look. There's a goat there. You can just see the edge of it. That's a cliff. Oh, there it is, look. And there's more down the side of the hill somewhere. That that is like that thing's 80 degrees, there it is, look at that going straight up. Not a care in the world. That's insane. You know, good luck to them. Pretty goats, eh? They can do anything. But right now, I'm standing on the end of a spur down near the river, which is part of Razorback. But this part of the spur, uh, I think, shoots off to the left roughly halfway down to the river so you can't get to this from the track it looks pretty steep to me up there but i might go and have a look because I'm, I'm thinking i might have something to eat now because i'm only i guess 10 minutes from my turn off point uh, yeah they've worked this pretty hard there's a that's a really big wall there They've dug all of this out. It might even have been a shaft in there. All down here. And down the end of it has got a nice big, big deep pool at the bottom of a cliff. Beautiful. And the goats came down from up there. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, so here's the nice pool. 30 degree day, this would be spectacular. Look at the cliff up there. It's crazy, straight down. And uh, the Razorback track is a couple of hundred metres down there. I don't think I'll walk up this side of the spur, I reckon I'll keep going down. Have a bit of a explore here first, see what we can find. As you know, it's not the it's not the it's still not the easiest to get to, even if you do come down Razor Track. You've got to got to bash your way along the river a fair bit. Quite a large area. It worked here. Standing on all of the waste rock at the moment, all rounded rock too. So I might just jump up onto that little ledge there and have a look there's nothing really up here thought it might have been a little plateau where they might have had a campsite but not big enough
Yeah, so over there, you got Lurderderg and the mine set up over there. And straight across, you got the left spur of Razorback and you got mining here. So it uh, probably stands to reason that they were worked from the same group. Been directly across the river. There's a this stack rock straight over there, you might be able to see it just above the, the stump. And little the track goes up that way and out. Back down here, yeah, there's nothing much, nothing much up here. Fairly extensive workings anyway. And I think it might have been part of, uh, like I said, part of the Lurdberg track one. So now I'll just keep on walking. Get down to the end, or get down to where I want to be and uh, make a right hand turn. Haven't found much here. Nothing really unexpected. I kind of expected the uh, the ones leading up to Lurderdurg track and that, but you know, what do you do? Now I will have walked the whole stretch of river from Razorback North and Spanish Onion to Razorback once I finish this one and found whatever I've been able to. There's a decent gully up there. Big cliffs, straight, almost vertical. The goats went up and down that like it was nothing. I couldn't believe it. I know they're a vermin, but they seem to keep a lot of the undergrowth in check, which is probably a good thing. I think I'll go on the other side here. I'm up on a flat bit above the river, opposite, uh, the, up there's Razorback Spur, uh, the left Razorback Spur. I just crossed there, it's solid bedrock. The, uh, the water's just cut through it. And I reckon this was an old campsite here. Because, uh, well, there's a, there's a native cherry anyway. They're always around where the gold is. But it's nice and flat. There isn't really a rock wall down there that I could see. But it kind of... Kind of matches what's going on around here. If I had to think of a reason for this flat area and with it being pretty much was cleared at some stage then the why oh yeah, I reckon I reckon this is stacked rock here oh yeah it is it is just fallen it is there along there Yes, rock. Let's uh, and then I'll just go down here and see if I can get a picture of it. I'd like to confirm that it's here rather than just guess. Oh, it was at some stage. It's all fallen down. Oh. I'm very close to Razorback now. That line up there, that's Razorback track. That's the spur that you come down. So I'd say Razorback track itself is there's a little, like a little upshoot where there's a, where's another uh, 
like a cliff, like another spur. I think that one is lower. That might be lower Chadwick actually. So not too far from it. Gee. The coming down that end of that spur was a bit hairy. No, it wasn't a bit hairy, it was a lot hairy. Um, I think the last the last five meters I just slid. It was like I was on an amusement ride. I thought, oh well. There's no there was no footholds, there were no handholds. There was a uh, some bushes at the bottom and then the river. So I uh, let go and down I went. It was no big deal but it's a little bit a little bit interesting. A lot of loose a lot of loose rock and stuff everywhere. This is a flat area. No, there's nothing, nothing here. It'd be interesting to see if there's anything just before Razorback. You know, my old theory, they wouldn't put tracks there if they weren't down here doing stuff. And in a minute or two I'm going to have to cross I reckon that's it right there yep I reckon that yep, there's Razorback right there there's someone coming down good on them anyway I made it to the place I wanted to get to the junction of Razorback track and uh Lower Chadwick and Razorback up there and Lower Chadwick there so it was a pretty good walk uh, I call it a marginal success I really didn't find anything that I didn't already know was going to be there so that's the whole um, that's the the distance between Razorback Track North and this Razorback Track covered along the river. So, to the drawing board to see if I can find where else I can drop in. But other than that, this one's done. It's got maybe an hour and a half to walk out. It's 11 o'clock now, started at 6. Uh, doing pretty good actually. Had a really nice, nice little lunch. Banana, tuna, couple of eggs. Yeah, it was good. And some drink. And now I'll just walk out. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you got something out of it. Hope you enjoyed the scenery. It's uh, an hour from Melbourne. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, see you later. Be safe and enjoy.